Hey everybody, welcome back to Wingnut's Bath. Johnny Wingnut and the Ant-Man. What's up into webs? It's been a while since we've done an actual yes. review on location here at the, at the bar. We've done an on location yeah. at Schmitty's. Schmitty's. And uh, I think the last one we did here was a potluck, so yeah. we're going to do another potluck soon. Hopefully. Yeah, work that one out Yeah. with everybody's summer plans are in full effect. Yeah, that's true. So what do so, we have here? What we have today is special. I took a little trip out to the Treehouse Bre Brewing Company out in uh, Munson now. They were in Brimfield. They moved out to Munson. So was it because they had some asshole NIMBY? Yeah, NIMBY it was a little like loophole something or other. Yeah. Um, just being a little bitch, basically. And didn't he basically say, I'm doing this because, you know, yeah, there's, just a, because law of, there's and, a law. There's a law. I'm cool with you guys, but. Yeah, I'm doing it just to be an asshole. Yeah, yeah. so Munson awesome. said, hey, why don't you move over and we'll set you guys up. So Do they actually they have a tree house that they brew in? No, the tree house is actually still in Brimfield. Uh, where they were in Brimfield, there is a tree house. And is that where they did all their brewing? No, I don't think it was the... There is like a, a tree house brewing in Ohio that does it in a tree house. Huh. But they are not affiliated with them. Gotcha. So they moved to Munson. Uh, they actually just got approved, I think, when I was there to fill this. They had already broken ground on their like 1.4 million dollar expansion it's gonna be big they're gonna they're, they're blowing up right now so right now they're still the little so what what stores can I find this at you can't find it anywhere actually uh, they don't sell them in stores you have to go to the, the brewery out in Munson it's their little they have like a little red barn you go into the system works pretty good you're in and out of there I waited about a half an hour so I can't even go to the best craft beer nope retail outlet to, to find this no you cannot Oh. Uh, some restaurants have them, like some bars have them, but yeah. they're very sparse. Yeah. And they're closer. They're like out in Sturbridge. Um, but that's, it's like, again, it's sparse. If you see it there, they may have it, they may not. Who knows? Gotcha. All right. So, so, what is this? What is this? This is their Julius IPA. This is what put them on the map. Uh, what does it say? It runs at 6.8. Yeah, it's an American IPA. Yep. 6.8. Uh, they tag all their bottles. They, it looks are, like they date it. When they date it when you fill it. Yep. So June twentieth. So uh, yeah, that's uh, this is what put them on the map. Basically, they they revealed this. I want to say two years ago at Extreme Beer Fest, and it was the hit of the nation, and everybody loved it. And that's what put them on the map. So I got lucky enough. I was out there. I saw them have it. And uh, now this is after, as you can see, I've already drinking half of it. Drinking. Drinking half of it. Drunken. Drank, 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 drank in it. Like three A's. Three. <laughs> drank. So it's still pretty good. It's about a what is it, a week? About a week a week ago is when I had it filled. So they last a good week, but that's about it. So I poured it out, and the first thing that you can notice is it's very cloudy, very hazy. Yeah. Um, Almost like some of the shandies we've had, where they've yeah. been very cloudy. The blue moons, very cloudy, unfiltered. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming this is an unfiltered IPA. Or yeah, I think it is. I, I've so never... much hops crap crammed in there that yeah, it's cloudy. Uh, golden, golden, golden amber, amber orange. Yeah. You know. Now you can, you you can smell, smell it. it. I guess potent. Yeah, nice and citrusy. Very citrusy, like more than more so than other beers we've had. Super like it's citrusy very... on the aroma, a little dank, little dank, not yeah, not, not like not anywhere super... near. It's there. It just smells incredible, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Mm, a little bit more danky on the taste, I think. Yep. Yeah, I think that it kind of switches, like the. A little, little danky in the front. You get the citrus in the back. Uh, we, we had a small sampling yeah, of this a you know, week, week, ago. week ago. And I remember saying that the aroma was a lot more potent yeah. and in your face than the flavor. The flavor was a little bit, it didn't, I don't want to say it didn't hold up, but it didn't, it wasn't on par or at the same level of intensity as the aroma. 
Right. The the flavor was so smooth. It, it was like quenching. It was great. This, I don't know if it's because it sat. It could have been. Because now the air was in there. More like the flavor, more danky. Yeah. And it's not a bad thing either way. Oh yeah, it's it still good. good. Still easy, easy drinking, man. It just like it just goes down. But just the dankiness, I think, has increased since the first time we tried it. But still, that I don't. Again, everybody knows I don't super enjoy IPAs, but this like is, it's so smooth. I I could probably drink this whole bottle. Mm -hmm. It's just that good. It like the citrusy. It's just enough to balance the hoppiness. Perfect amount of carbonation. Yep. It's not too fizzy. Nope. Just nice and it's there to keep it fresh and refreshing. Yeah. But it's not too fizzy to make you full and gassy. Right. And, and it just it's slides just, right down. You can see why they put them on the map. Mm-hmm. Good job by Dean and the boys over there. I'm going to give this seven and a half. I was going to give it an eight. Just because it's that good. I don't know. It, I mean, to me, it could be because I get it. You get it from the brewery. It's like they had just. It goes from their barrels, goes right into their kegs, and then they pump it out that weekend, and then that's it. So you, this is about the freshest year. It's about like a week old by the time you get it. Right. So it's about the freshest beer I've ever had, and I think that's mostly. But why does it have born on dating? They do, and yeah. if you look at them, they're about like a month out. And they're beechwood aged. Yeah. Oh. oh they probably right. just like pass through the beechwood. Yeah. Just kind of trip yeah, over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very. Shouldn't good. even be in the same sentence with something of this caliber. No, it shouldn't. This is phenomenal stuff. If yep. you, I haven't made the road trip out there yet. I can't nope. wait to uh, try more of their. If brood. you see Julius on the, go to their website. What is it? Uh, it's on the bottle somewhere. Treehousebrewing.com. Treehouse Brew. Dot com. Oh, close. They have their list of what's on for every weekend. They're open, I think, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If you see Julius on there, at least get there at least half hour to an hour early. It's wild. Yeah. You have to, it, you just have to. I was there about half hour early. I waited half an hour for my bottle to get filled after they opened, so I was technically there for a full hour. But it's worth it. Everybody hangs out. It's, you know, there's uh, guitars and stuff hanging on. Is there on sampling wall. going on? Uh, is there like a sampling area that you can uh, There isn't like on? a sampling area or anything like that, so I think you can ask and they might give you something. But mm -hmm. uh, they put out like chips and stuff to hang out. It, they basically kind of turn it into like a little get together. Mm -hmm. And everybody hangs out. Usually Dean is walking around chatting with everybody. Cool dude, so. Well, hope to see you soon, Dean. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in. We're going to do one more treehouse for the next one. Yep. Uh, stay tuned for that one. And welcome back to Wingnuts Bass. So we'll be pumping out some more reviews. Yeah. Stay tuned for some uh, potluck twos that I haven't put oh, on yeah, the yet. Oh, yeah, we have a whole other so potluck to go. This might come out before the potluck twos, but yeah. Sounds good. We'll see you next time. Drive on. Later into webs.